Okay, thank you very much. So this morning we heard that sustainable behavior and especially sustainable consumer behavior is one of the big puzzles and one of the big problems where even Switzerland is not very much a front runner. And that's one of the reasons why we are interested in this topic and the special focus of this uh, project is spillover effects in the use of natural resources. Now, what do we mean by these spillover effects and what is it all about? So, many of you may know that there are a lot of studies, empirical studies, that are interested in how could we make people be, uh, save more on energy, or how could we make people save more on water, or how could we make people recycle more than they do. And what we observe is that all these studies are done in isolation, that is, that means it's only on electricity, it's only on water, it's only on recycling. And what we are interested in is the influences we have between these different areas. So we are supposing that there might be an indirect influence of electricity saving on the usage of water or of water usage on the recycling behavior, etc. So the questions we are interested in are what are these spillover effects? Do the spillover effects undermine or increase the effectiveness of any intervention to make uh, people behave more environmentally friendly in one or the other area? And if so, how should we design and also assess the behavioral interventions which we do? Um, as I said before, I briefly want to explain what we understand by spillovers. So we first have one intervention that is thought to affect the behavior of people in one specific area. Like for instance, make people save more on electricity. So that might change the behavior A, as we called it on this slide, meaning people may indeed save on electricity. But this electricity saving may also trigger an effect for a behavior B, for instance, water usage or recycling. And so we are interested in the existence and the direction of spillover effects, means triggering the behavior in the area B. Um, and of course, we suppose right now that the costs of the behavioral changes in area A may have an impact, that the cognitive mindsets of people may play a role, and that a lot of other factors are important, which we want to research on. Um, so what do we have, what do, do we plan? We plan five different studies. One is an analysis of spillover effects in the field, and we already started a study um, in Singapore to um, observe the, in, the, the spillover effects between electricity and water usage, and we will replicate this study also in Switzerland. Then a second part will also refer to exactly the spillover effects which we found in the field and try to bring them into the lab in order to be able to um, um, find out more details and to change more details concerning um, the reasons for what we observe concerning the spillover. Then we will also do a survey study on the question how and which areas are somehow connected in the perception of people. That means between which areas can we expect such spillovers, positive or negative ones. Then we will continue with a fourth study which will be a panel study tracking individuals resource use behavior and we will observe how people's resource use behavior changes if an intervention in one specific area will be done. Finally, after we have got, um, gained some insights on how different areas may uh, be linked and which areas may be linked, we will then do another field study between what we now would um, um, expect to be unrelated natural resource use areas, but which we will find out to be somehow related. And we will do another field study on this. We will do this, this as I already said, in different country contexts, and we will use different methods of data collection, um, like surveys, like panel studies, like experiments, and so on. So what are we aiming at? We are aiming at evaluating positive and negative um, side effects of economic or behavioral interventions to increase the sustainable use of natural resources. We will aim at providing a toolbox for the policymakers, which helps them to assess also 
interventions which were not in the scope of our analysis to enable them to do these analyses by themselves and then to better know which interventions will have which positive or negative side effects in other areas. And from a scientific perspective, we will close a blind spot in behavioral economics where we typically see these isolated ana analyses until now. Okay, last slide, who are we? Well, we are a team um, with essentially um, two researchers right now, but we are uh, increasing our team. And uh, so uh, at my side, uh, we have Klaus Gessler, who is also among the participants here. And he just finished his doctoral dissertation on behavioral economic interventions in electricity markets. So he really is an expert on these behavioral interventions. And we have a close cooperation with people who also since years are doing uh, these behavioral studies, but as I said, in isolated fields like Professor Weber from Princeton, uh, Professor Azevedo from Carnegie Mellon, or also Professor Gatte who is in Bonn and right now also half time in Singapore. So that's it about uh, our spillover project. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.